Hey guys, this is Aaron. We are working on our fifth chess piece here in our SketchUp free chess set. And this is gonna be the queen. So if you haven't seen the videos for the first four, I recommend you take a look at them down below. We're gonna hop right in and build on top of what we've already covered. So I'm gonna double click to enter the base for the queen and use a line just like I have on the other pieces to find the middle and draw a line straight up. Again, this is just reference. Uh, queen's around the same height as the king, so I'm gonna go right about there. Uh, just like I did in the first, the last few, I'm going to actually use a reference plane. So I'm just going to use my red axes to draw right over, close that up. That looks good. Oops, I went a little too far. All right, so that looks good. Um, the queen's going to start with kind of a circle like the bishop has. So I'm going to grab circle and put that right here at the peak, something like about that big. And the queen's going to have kind of a crown right up here. Um, so I'm going to grab some lines. And I'm going to draw something like this, maybe. Uh, that'll slope down and across. Um, come down and get that same collar I have on the other pieces, like that. And then, of course, I'll get my arc in there. Right before I leave line, I will come up here and finish bisecting this circle. Bisecting is a 10 cent word that means cut in half. And erase this extra half over here just so I don't get confused about what's going on at the top. All right, back to my arc. I can hit A to jump into my arc command. I'm gonna draw from here down to the bottom and uh, something like that. All right, pretty simple, looks good. Let's uh, erase our extra lines. I'm gonna use erase, E command on the keyboard. Get my shortcuts do work, my default shortcuts. And that looks awesome. Just like I did in the last few pieces now, I'm gonna use follow me switch to follow me. I'm going to pick, double click the circle, just give me the edge highlighted, click follow me, and then pick that surface. And there we go, that looks all right. Uh, doesn't quite look queeny yet. Um, generally speaking, when you look at a queen, this kind of has kind of, a, like I said, a crown look where it goes up and down. So we got to figure out how to do that. We're going to do that. Uh, it's actually be pretty easy. What we're going to do is come over to our display panel. If you don't have the display panel open, it's the little glasses icon in the panels list on the right. In display panel, we're going to turn on hidden objects. That's going to show us all of our lines. This is kind of cool because if hidden objects is turned off and I pick, this is treated as a single surface. If hidden objects is turned on, I can actually come in here and pick individual pieces. So what I want to do right now is I want to select, I'm going to hold down shift, and I'm going to pick every fourth surface. I'll go all the way around here. One, two, three, four. Oops. I let go of shift when I orbit. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, there we go. So I have every fourth surface selected right now. I can let go of shift, and I'm gonna go into the move command. Move is here under rotate, which I used last. And I'm just gonna pick a point, and I'm gonna drag down. So I'm gonna come down the blue axis just a little bit, just enough so I get that little shape. That's what I'm looking for for the queen shape. Turn off hidden objects, and it'll see how that's gonna actually look. That looks pretty cool. And again, done just by uh, selecting some surfaces and moving them. That was pretty easy. Our queen is pretty much done. Last check, of course, is to pick the group, go to empty info, and make sure it is, in fact, a solid model, which it is. There we go. Five out of our six pieces done in SketchUp Free. Thank you.